When I entered early this morning in the church, I came and there was not the painting. There was a, an empty space. And at the first, I was a little bit surprised. And then, when we arrived, little by little, the beautiful painting of Our Lady came up and all the people made a big applause because they felt that now it's all right. If there is not God in our life, if there is not Our Lady in our life, there is like an empty space and we feel a little bit lost. But when there is God in our life, there is light, there is joy, and we feel as beautifully your bishop said that everything will go well. For myself, I am at peace simply because I know God's plan will one day be made victorious. Human beings can plan, can conspire, can make intrigues, but they did not or they do not take into account the plan of God. Her piat has two aspects, darkness and light. Whenever Mary did not understand and kept things in her heart, it was darkness. Many events leading to the crucifixion of Jesus, she did not fully understand them, especially the sufferings and the death of Jesus on the cross. She was in the dark. And Mary, just because of her fiat, experienced this darkness her faith in and her love for God was her light. Though she did not understand, though in the dark, she kept believing in the plan of God and kept loving God. She also hoped that one day her darkness would become light, that she would be fully enlightened. That enlightenment for me happened in the, our tradition of Salubong after the Easter vigil when the sorrowful mother and the risen Lord encountered one another. Then, she understood. She was fully enlightened. For me, the light in Our Lady of Light means two things. Understanding and faith in God and love for God. We too, my brothers and sisters, have many darkness. There are many things in which we are kept in the dark. For example, the evil in the world, the absence of peace in the world, in our country, and even in our family. Let us continue believing in God's plan for us. That God's plan and not the plan of human beings will one day be victorious. Let us continue loving God 
in spite of the darkness around us, even within us. So every time we come here and look at this beautiful image, let us think that Our Lady and Our Lord Jesus want to be not just on the wall of a church, but in the heart of each one of us. And when I went up to put this beautiful crown, I felt very much honored and privileged. On the other hand, I felt very humbled. Who am I to have this honor, to put this beautiful crown on Our Lady? But I felt that I was doing that in your name. Each one of you were present up there because is the gift we want to give in gratitude to God, to our Mother Mary. And I was thinking especially, Mother Mary, I do this in the name of all the mothers, our mothers, the mothers present here, the mothers of the world. When you give birth, it's said, the somebody comes to the light. The mission to give birth to a new creature is something divine. There is the presence of God. In spite of all the sufferings, the problems, the difficulties sometimes, never lose hope, dear mothers. Look at Mary. She will always help you in all the moments and she will give you strength and hope. I enjoyed this beautiful old church, very nice. But what gives me more joy is your presence, because the church is not a building of stone. The church is the building of living stone the people, the faithful, the baptized, the Christian. We are the church. A genuine devotee to Our Lady of Light continues to hope that one day he or she will fully understand or be enlightened. Continue to hope in the midst of darkness Continue to hope even we do not understand what is happening. And uh, to proclaim today this sanctuary as a diocesan sanctuary means that each one of us, each one of you present here should be like this heart with light. Each one of us should be a light for those who come from different parts of the diocese to this diocesan shrine. And should see not just a beautiful picture, but a beautiful community. I'm happy to be here and give you the blessing of the Holy Father, but I'm happy from what I receive from you, your devotion and your faith. Keep going and look always at Our Lady, Lady of Light. She may enlighten you, she may accompany you, she may bring you to Jesus, our Lord and King, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
at wala na tayong ibang dapat mahalim pa kundi ang Diyos na nagmahal sa atin simula pa nang tayo'y nasa sinapupunan na ng ating mga ina. So if we can do that, then we glorify God. We become the light for other people to follow. Lumen et gloria.